Hey, welcome to a new video. Beaches are known for their beauty and relaxation, where people sunbathe, walk, and swim. However, in addition to these coastal experiences, sometimes eerie things are also found on the beach. These discoveries remind us that the sea can sometimes hold unexpected secrets and creepy surprises. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. In July 2023, a remarkable incident unfolded on the shores of an Australian beach, capturing the attention of both locals and experts. A massive metal dome had washed ashore, sparking speculation and curiosity about its origin and purpose. The mysterious object raised intriguing questions about its relationship to space exploration and even the infamous disappearance of flight MH370. Authorities labeled the colossal metal dome as potentially hazardous and warned people to keep their distance. Some believe that the dome may have once been a crucial component of a rocket used for space exploration. One prominent theory suggested a connection between the dome and India's satellite launch missions. It was thought to resemble a fuel tank from the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle Rocket, which India had successfully launched in April of that year. The dimensions of the rocket dome were approximately 8 feet or 2.5 meters wide, and 10 feet or 3 meters tall, matching the characteristics of a fuel tank used in such launches. However, others speculated that it might have been part of an aircraft. The discovery led to comparisons with the MH370 flight, which had disappeared almost a decade earlier in 2014. In February of the year 2020, local residents found a strange dolphin-like sea creature on a beach in Mexico. When its picture was posted on social media, many people had no idea what exactly the creature could have been. The creature that washed up on the shore before their eyes was one that the history books never mentioned. The bizarre sea creature had a tail similar to that of an eel or a snake, but its body was more like that of a dolphin. In addition to a dolphin-like head, its jaws showed sharp teeth. Upon further examination of the body, things became even more creepy. The creature had no flippers, but that's not all. Because it also had no eyes, like at all. That means it probably must have come from the extreme depths of the Pacific Ocean where there's no light and no need for eyes. But if so, how did it end up on the beach? What do you think? In a fascinating twist of events, a mysterious object emerged from the sands of Daytona Beach shores in Florida. The unusual discovery, believed to be a combination of wood and metal, was unearthed due to the unprecedented erosion caused by hurricanes Ian and Nicole. Authorities in Volusia County, who examined the object, have stated that such level of erosion had not been observed in the region for at least 25 years. The approximately 79-foot or 24-meter-long structure that was exposed is the result of powerful hurricanes. Tamara Mulfers, a spokeswoman for Volusia County, acknowledged that they are uncertain about the nature and origin of the object. Numerous theories have emerged online, speculating that it could be a shipwreck, remnants of an old pier, or even seating from NASCAR's historic beach races. However, no official confirmation has been released regarding the identity of the object. The challenge authorities now face is how to fully excavate the object, as shifting tides cause it to be submerged during high water, making it difficult to access. When a local woman in Mazeltan in western Mexico first came across the sea monster, she initially thought it was a piece of rope. Upon further investigation, she discovered it was a sea monster. The creature's dead eyes stared at her, and its teeth also looked quite terrifying. The strange thing is that the creature was never officially identified. Some claim it was an eel or a sea serpent, but neither theory had been confirmed. Take a look at this mysterious doll that washed ashore on Cape Canaveral Beach in Florida. The doll, made from coconuts, caught the attention of a beachgoer, Bruce Robertson. The doll, made from coconuts, caught the attention of beachgoer, Bruce Robertson, due to its unusual features. It had human teeth, snakeskin, and feathers on its arms and legs. Bruce was told by other beachgoers that it was likely a voodoo doll and needed to be destroyed. However, after doing some research, he concluded that the doll actually represented an African spider god named a Nazi, used by slaves from Ghana for luck and protection. Michelle Davis, the owner of an African bookstore in Coco, disagreed with Bruce's interpretation. She found the doll creepy and believed it had human skin. She speculated that it could have been part of a voodoo ritual and emphasized that voodoo is still practiced in various places around the world. It's one thing to discover a sea creature that washes ashore, but it's quite another to discover a complete World War II fighter plane. In the early 2020s, a sand shift exposed a fighter plane on the beach in Britain. 
A couple who decided to spend a day at the beach found this wreckage. For about 45 minutes, the couple examined the wreckage and took a lot of pictures, as any curious person would. After they went home, the magnitude of what they had found dawned on them. They had in fact discovered a missing World War II plane. The British Royal Air Force Museum was called in, and they confirmed that it was a Bristol Ball Fighter TF that had crashed in April 1944. The fighter was from the Royal Air Force, and it was 76 years old. Surely, this must have been a trip to the beach that they won't soon forget. After a tsunami in Japan, two people discovered that the ocean had washed up something strange on the beach. When this unexplained ball was encountered, people quickly got chills down their spines. Even when the creature was gently touched, it did not respond. Believe it or not, but according to experts, this creature was thought to have come from a sea sponge. The theory claims that the sea sponge was ripped off a reef and washed up on the beach. Sea sponges are common in Japan and can reach gigantic sizes, and they also have fascinating geometric patterns. While walking their dog, Melanie and her husband Mike stumbled upon the carcass of an enormous creature. Enormous is actually an understatement. This thing was over 11 feet long. This event took place in 2016, and the couple, who have two children, were used to seeing creatures like jellyfish wash up on the shore. However, this was no jellyfish. Initially, Melanie mistook the colossal remains for a piece of driftwood, but she soon realized it was an animal due to the presence of thousands of flies around it. Melanie has since speculated about the identity of the mysterious creature and suggested it could be a whale. However, the theory was dismissed because whales don't typically wash ashore in the area that this was found. A new theory suggested that it might be the remains of a dinosaur. To this day, nobody knows what this is or how it ended up there. The creature has been given a name though, the Beast of Port Talbot. The Megalodon is a species of shark that is thought to have gone extinct 2.6 million years ago. Although there are those who believe that the Megalodon is still swimming around in the depths of the ocean. However, Megalodon teeth are found from time to time. One such case was by a young girl named Avery, who was relaxing with her family on a beach in Topside, North Carolina, USA. Her father had taken them to pursue his 20 plus year old hobby of searching for Megalodon teeth. Megalodon teeth are a special find, considering that the Megalodon went extinct a long time ago and the tooth Avery found was also millions of years old. But as I mentioned earlier, they are sometimes found more often. 130 kilometers away, a man named Harvey saw a glint of something dark in the sand. When he turned it over, he saw that it was an entire Megalodon tooth, said to be over 3 million years old. If we were to tell you that a regular cross had washed up on the shore, you probably wouldn't attach much significance to this incident. But take a look at the size of this cross. This massive painted wooden cross mysteriously washed ashore at the Ocean Manor Beach Resort in Fort Lauderdale completely adorned with barnacles. The cross, which was over 20 feet long, left both the local residents and visitors in awe, leading to speculations about its origin and meaning. The origin of the cross is a subject of debate, with various theories emerging. Some have suggested that it might have come from Puerto Rico, while others mention the nearby Florida Keys as a possible origin. Frank, the owner of the resort, interpreted the arrival of the cross as a sign of protection and considered it as divine intervention. He revealed that his sister had been on the beach that day, fervently praying due to a troubling dream. Frank decided to preserve the cross at the resort, and visitors are now welcome to view it and take pictures with it. However, to ensure its safety, Frank arranged the cross to be moved farther from the shoreline. This endeavor required the combined efforts of seven individuals and two SUVs to transport the massive object higher up on the sandy beach. Some people believe the cross may have once belonged to an old pirate ship and possibly served as a supporting structure for hoisting sails. When something like a treasure shark washes up on the beach, you have to wonder where exactly they live in the ocean. Although they sometimes swim close to the surface of the water, they are rarely seen that close to the beaches. In fact, they are so rare that this find was considered lucky and information gathered about this mysterious creature. This shark with eyes the size of dinner plates found its way to New Zealand beach. And yes, the shark's tail not only looks dangerous, but is also used to stun prey underwater. Get ready to be amazed by the recent viral sensation originating from the sandy shores of Galveston, Texas. In an enchanting encounter, a beachgoer captured the internet's attention with photos showcasing a peculiar creature emerging from the depths of the sandy beach. The Texas Parks and Wildlife Department identified the intriguing visitor as a shrimp eel typically residing in the muddy waters of bays and inlets. 
The online community erupted in a mix of amazement, humor, and even conspiracy theories in response to the shrimp eel's appearance. Everything from saying it would have given them the creeps to referring to them as aliens. Shrimp eels typically have slender, snake-like bodies, distinguished by their broad snouts and two to three irregular rows of teeth. Their coloring can range from dark gray or black to vibrant yellow, adding to their allure. Interestingly, these eels, if swallowed whole by another fish, are known for their burrowing instincts and making a bold escape attempt from the stomach of a predator. Yeah, you heard that right. They dig their way out of the stomach of the one who just ate them. Pretty weird, huh? Everyone knows that mermaids are half human, half fish, usually with long hair and fish tails. However, if the following video is to be believed, someone had found a body of a mermaid. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any info in which country or which beach, but we can see in the video that it seems to have fins and looks fragile just like a fish in the sun. As you may know, more than 95% of the ocean is unexplored. So who knows what could be down there? Could this be a real washed up mermaid? What do you think? North Korea recently showcased its military might be conducting the largest military exercise ever held to commemorate the founding of the country's army. Live fire exercises took place in the Wonsan region in the eastern part of the country. A North Korean government official later stated the event marked the country's largest military exercise to date, featuring an impressive display of 300 artillery cannons. The order to commemorate the demonstration came directly from North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Massive self-propelled cannons with large calibers were strategically positioned along the coast, and they all fired simultaneously. It's worth noting that military exercises, including displays of power, are not uncommon for North Korea, especially on significant occasions like the Day of the Armed Forces. The celebration marked the 85th anniversary of the founding of the North Korean army. The timing of these exercises gained added significance due to the recent reinforcement of the United States military presence in the region. Through these exercises, North Korea aims to remind its adversaries that it's capable of inflicting significant damage. When you see a giant squid in real life, the myth of the Kraken no longer seems to be so far-fetched. The largest known to us was a whopping 40 feet, or 12 meters long. This next giant squid landed on a beach near Wellington, New Zealand in August 2018. A group of the three people had previously found sharks in the same area, but this was the first time a giant squid had washed up. Giant squid are creatures that live very deep in the ocean, so it remains a bit of a mystery of how this giant squid washed up on the beach. What's the last thing you'd expect to find on a beach? You'll probably never have thought of some ancient tombstones. But this happened in June 2012, when the sand, due to a strong wind, exposed some creepy tombstones on the shore of Ocean Beach in San Francisco, USA. One of the tombstones in question was almost completely intact, bearing the date of death of April 26, 1890. Tombstones are meant to last literally an eternity, and it's questionable how exactly this one ended up on the beach. However, this tombstone, along with thousands of others, was removed from city cemeteries in the early 20th century to make way for new construction projects. The stones were used as landfills, and some were simply dumped into San Francisco Bay. Still, you'll be surprised if you come across a tombstone on the beach, rather than in a cemetery, don't you think? Brian Daniel, a self-proclaimed conspiracy theorist, claims to have discovered an extraterrestrial underwater base near a beach. His assertion came after he found an extraterrestrial body washed ashore, which he insists is of non-human origin. He even shared footage showing government officials seemingly removing what appeared to be an extraterrestrial being from the beach. According to Brian's claims, the so-called base is purportedly located off the coast of Greece and can even be found on Google Maps. He further asserted that upon closer examination, the underwater base reveals a distinctive 26-foot or 8-meter long opening in the middle. According to Brian, this enigmatic facility serves as a refuge for unidentified flying objects. However, this is not the first time Brian has ventured into the realm of extraterrestrial conspiracies. He has previously claimed to have tracked an object from space and has suggested that these extraterrestrial beings have been lurking in our oceans all along. The Trunco Globster is the name of an unidentified organic mass that washed up on the shoreline in Margate, South Africa in 1924. Its story is wild from start to finish. Trunco was reportedly seen fighting with two orcas. The man who saw him thought it was a polar bear at first. He also saw him come out of the water and attack the orcas with his tail. Three hours later, the orcas left and Trunco drifted towards the beach. 
According to eyewitnesses, the creature would have been as much as 46 feet tall. 46 feet or 14 meters long. Its one meter long trunk gave its nickname, Trunko. Ten days later, however, a tidal wave washed him back into the ocean. Patricia, a resident of Texas, shared the following image on April 13th on Facebook after a friend came across the mysterious creature along Bolivar Beach. Unable to identify the fish, Patricia turned to the internet for help, resulting in a flood of comments and speculations. The photo showed a creature adorned with numerous teeth and bumps, leading some to liken it to an alien. Those curious about the photo in the Facebook group endeavored to unravel the identity of the creature. When news media reached out to government agencies for answers, it shed light on the mysterious find. According to them, the creature in question is believed to be the gills and gills arches of a fish that was likely caught and filleted by someone. Although the exact species could not be identified, it was thought to be a large sport fish. The feather-like structures seen in the photo were identified as the gills, which are connected to the bony gill arches. These are the same waters where a month earlier, someone captured a viral video of an alligator walking along the beach shoreline. The monster of St. Augustine is a story you probably don't want to hear at night. The monster was discovered in November of 1896 by two young boys and is considered a so-called globster, a strange unidentified organic mass that washed ashore. This one landed on Anastasia Island in Florida. The two boys first thought it was a whale and ran off to share their find. But this turned out not to be an ordinary whale. This monster was 6 meters long and 2.5 meters wide, with a weight of up to 5 to 6,000 kilograms. The globster had several arms or tentacles, or at least the remains of them. Its skin was so rough that it was impossible to cut it with a knife. It took a whole team of men and six horses to drag it away. Whether it was a giant squid, a whale, or a mysterious sea monster, nobody knows. What do you think it was? A group of friends was relaxing on a beach in New Zealand when suddenly an orca was spotted near the coast. What makes it eerie is that the orca came alarmingly close, causing everyone to run out of the water. However, one of the most common shark species in New Zealand is the bronze whaler shark. These sharks are known for their preference for coastal habitats and are often spotted near shorelines, especially in the summer when they follow schools of fish closer to the coast. Other shark species found in New Zealand waters include the great white shark. Great white sharks roam the coastal areas of New Zealand and are responsible for dozens of accidents each year. What would your reaction be if you saw a shark fin sticking out of the water? Or have you experienced this before? Let me know in the comments. How often does a sea monster with a beak and a furry tail appear on the beach? Not often, but according to several articles, this is how a mysterious sea monster washed up along the east coast of Russia. The prevailing theory is that it's a rare species of dolphin one that has never been seen before. Even experts think that it's a very strange creature, as dolphins don't normally have fur. They also doubt that it lives in the waters near the beach, or that it was simply washed up by the warm currents. Shells regularly wash up on the shore, but creepy dolls don't. These dolls are often covered in barnacles and lack limbs, hair, and eyes. Photos of them were posted on a Facebook page of the local organization, Mission Aransas Reserve, which documents many intriguing finds. They say they come across dozens of these dolls, but the creepiest of them are those without hair and with barnacles growing out of their empty eye sockets. However, there's a scientific reason for this phenomenon, but why it's always dolls remains a mystery. The Texas coastal bend area where these creepy dolls were discovered has been identified as a junk magnet. The beaches in this area receive as much as 10 times the amount of debris compared to any other beach in the Gulf of Mexico. A strong ocean current known as the Yucatan Loop currently regularly pushes objects to the shores of Texas, creating an influx of debris. The largest manta ray ever caught was in 1920 and had an incredible length of 30 feet or 9 meters. These ocean monsters looked extraterrestrial, but unfortunately their population is threatened. The reason is because they often get caught in fishermen's nets. In some cases, they are also washed up on the beach. In this video, we see people rescuing a giant manta ray that became entangled in fishing nets. Unfortunately, there are also cases where they are caught by fishermen. However, this giant manta ray looked heavy enough to overturn the boat and was about 16 to 23 feet or 5 to 7 meters long. 
During the summer season in Qingdao, a city in East China, there's an annual invasion of fluorescent green algae along the coast. This phenomenon turns the beaches into a vast green expanse. Despite government efforts to clean up the algae, it remains a challenge to combat the algae originating from the Yellow Sea. The accumulation of algae on the beaches of Qingdao is a common sight, and in photos, we can see Chinese tourists dealing with the algae in various ways. Some people apply the algae to their bodies, while others go as far as to bury themselves in it. Additionally, people have used algae to create sculptures and sand art by mixing it with sand. These activities showcase visitors' creative and playful responses to the unique natural phenomenon. According to official statistics, the algal bloom has covered approximately 8,900 hectares of land in the Shandong province in China. To address this issue, authorities have deployed a large number of ships, a total of 2,173 for cleanup efforts. These efforts have resulted in the removal of over 70,000 tons of algae from both land and sea, with 40,000 tons specifically collected from the coast. While the algae themselves are not toxic, they pose a potential threat to fish and other marine life. On October 10, 2016, a man taking a beach walk in Charleston, South Carolina, saw something metallic half buried in the sand. This happened shortly after Hurricane Matthew wreaked havoc on the coast. The man was checking for damages that day. During the American Civil War, which lasted from 1861 to 1865, the area had been a fortress, and many attacks were made on it. But the man had not expected to find 16 cannonballs. The authorities were called, and eventually a U.S. Air Force explosive team was called in. They had to detonate the 150-year-old cannonballs. Even though they were more than two centuries old, they were no less deadly. Even the locals reported hearing the explosions. No, The Monster of Foley Beach is not the title of a new horror movie. One day at Foley Beach in South Carolina, a man found a strange creature on the beach. The green spots on its tan skin alone looked disturbing. But what struck the crowd most were his dinosaur-like leg plates and his 7 feet or 2 meter long appearance. Theories about its identity range from a dinosaur-like sea monster to a mutated chupacabra. Others thought that it might be an Atlantic sturgeon. However, these sea creatures can reach lengths of 16 feet to 20 feet, or 5 to 6 meters. A peculiar and mysterious spectacle unfolded when an intriguing carcass washed ashore on the banks of a Russian beach. Reacting swiftly to the discovery, Russian special forces seized the remains for further examination. Initial assessments left experts puzzled, as the creature seemed to defy categorization as a fish or a crocodile, sparking speculation. With a length of about 20 feet or 6 meters, this creature had another mysterious feature, a cover resembling fur or hair. While nothing was ever confirmed, they concluded it could possibly be a beluga whale. Beluga whales are known for their distinctive white appearance and bulbous foreheads, and inhabit the Antarctic and subarctic regions of the Northern Hemisphere. These marine mammals are known for their intelligence, social behavior, and impressive vocalizations. Although they're typically associated with their shiny white skin, it's not unheard of it's not unheard of for them to exhibit discolorations or abnormalities due to various factors. What do you think was found on this Russian beach? Let me know in the comments. In theory, we know that sperm whales can reach 60 feet or 18 meters in length. Unfortunately, they occasionally wash up on beaches in the town of Skegness in England. Not one, but three sperm whales were found. However, there's also an example of a 62 feet or a 19 meter long whale that washed ashore in eastern China. This one was still alive, and thanks to the 20 hour efforts of local firefighters, the sperm whale was pushed back into the water. Near Takaka and Golden Bay, three whales have washed ashore before. Dozens of people came to the beach to view the majestic animals. According to several articles, the remains of a 1500 year old church were uncovered during a coastal excavation. The location situated along the shores of Ashdod in Israel has revealed a series of well-preserved architectural features that provide valuable insights into the Byzantine era. As archaeologists painstakingly uncovered layer by layer of the past, mosaics and fragments of frescoes came to light, bearing witness to the artistic and religious traditions of that time. Apart from its architectural grandeur, the Byzantine church serves as a testament to the historical significance of the region. Ashdod, with its strategic coastal location, has long been a crossroads of cultures and civilizations. The discovery of the ancient place of worship adds another layer to the complex story of the city's history and sheds light on the religious practices of its inhabitants. Unearthing this 1,500-year-old church also provides a tangible connection to the people who once walked along the shores of Ashdod. 
leaving traces of their beliefs and traditions behind. In October of 2017, a creepy video of an alien sea monster lying sprout on the beach circulated on the internet. People began to speculate what it could be, but no one had any idea. Its appearance looked strange, with a claw-like head and four arms that looked like tentacles. But that wasn't all. Behind it, a long line could be seen. Not clear whether it was the creature's path or whether it's part of the mysterious body. In case you're curious where in the world this creature was washed up, it was on the beach of Julian Dorp in the Netherlands. Unfortunately, there are not more pictures, so we can't see the monster more clearly. We can only guess that what kind of sea monster this could have been. While taking a stroll on Australia's Bondi Beach, a local resident named Drew stumbled upon something unusual. Drew captured video footage of the creature stranded on the shore, revealing its distinctive feature, large puckered lips resembling those of a human. You might even liken the creature to something out of a science fiction movie or cartoon. Despite its human-like lips, the creature's skin appeared shark-like, leaving observers puzzled about its true nature. Upon closer examination, Drew noted that the creature's mouth was located on the underside of its body. Unlike a shark, experts later identified the creature as a coffin ray, a ray species native to Australia. Though its fins and tail were missing, the species' distinctive features were still recognizable. Coffin rays are known in temperate to tropical seas around Australia and can occasionally be found in sandy areas and shallow bays. The creature's unusual appearance can also be attributed to factors such as decomposition and bloating. A dolphin washing up may be disturbing, but the next person had found a dolphin on the beach that had two heads. The dolphin was found by a gym teacher on a beach in Akili, Turkey, near the western city of Izmir. He had spotted the dolphin as the waves brought it closer and closer. At first, the man thought it was an ordinary sea creature, but he was shocked when he saw the two heads. The two-headed dolphin is believed to be a calf, about a year old and it was less than a meter long. While it had two heads, its body transitioned into one tail. But that wasn't the only thing different about it. The eyes of one head were almost closed, as was one of its blowholes. The two-headed dolphin had the extremely rare condition called polycephaly. The two-headed dolphin had the extremely rare condition called polycephaly. The condition, which also occurs in humans and other animals, results in having two heads, like the process of Siamese twins. The Moreki boulders located in Koekoe Beach in New Zealand have fascinated visitors with their mysterious origin. These massive spherical rocks, some with diameters of up to 10 feet or 10 meters, have sparked various theories and legends about their formation. We'll explore five different explanations for the origin of the boulders. A Maori legend, alien eggs, volcanic activity, lightning strikes, and a scientific explanation. According to the Maori legend, the boulders are the remains of a stranded canoe, with the rocky sandbanks of nearby Shag Point representing the petrified hole. Another theory suggests that the boulders are alien eggs, either from space or washed ashore by the ocean. The possibility of volcanic activity is also considered, proposing that the boulders were ejected from an ancient volcano and landed on the Koekoe beach. Another theory suggests that massive lightning strikes may have formed the boulders by shattering and compacting the matter. Lastly, there's a scientific explanation classifying the boulders as septarian concretions. This theory suggests they began forming 60 million years ago on the ancient sea floor, with calcite crystals accumulating around cores of fossilized shells or wood. Which theory do you believe? Let me know in the comments. You've probably never heard of the Megamouth Sharks. This is because they are very rare, and they don't often show themselves. The sharks have an unusual rounded snout that gives them distinctly non-shark-like appearance. The species, which can live up to 100 years, was discovered in 1974 by a U.S. Navy research vehicle in Hawaiian waters. Since then, there have only been around 269 confirmed sightings, most recently in June 2022. Another one washed up ashore in the Philippines. And another incident a few years ago, also in the Philippines, but in Pio Duran, Al Bay. This was a giant male, 15 feet or 4.6 meters long. An unidentified object discovered by a diver in Palm Beach has piqued curiosity and speculation within the local community. The diver named David stumbled upon the mysterious item while snorkeling with his children at a depth of about 5 to 10 feet or 1.5 to 3 meters. Initially, he mistook the object for a rocket due to its appearance, which raised some concerns about potential dangers. However, he remained calm in the hope that there would be no explosion or damage. Residents in the area speculate that the remains could be from World War II military equipment or a discarded torpedo. 
To assess the situation, police boats with divers equipped with ropes were dispatched to this location. The dive team managed to remove pieces of the object, but could not determine its true identity, leaving the mystery unsolved. Initially, however, the police indicated that the object might be a US training rocket and has since been removed from the area. Do you believe this explanation? When people first saw this video pop up on the internet, they thought a giant octopus had washed up on the beach. However, its identity was quickly revealed. In fact, this octopus was part of a publicity stunt by Netflix to advertise the fourth season of the popular series Stranger Things. But imagine if you didn't know that and you see this creature lying on the beach. Pretty creepy. Recently, skeleton remains were discovered by a woman named Bobby Lee while driving along the beach in Kebel Sands, Australia. The woman posted a photo of the creature on Facebook, describing it as a mermaid with a human skull and a hairy body. The image sparked a wave of speculation and curiosity. People made various suggestions to identify the creature, ranging from dead sea lions or dolphins to more exotic possibilities, like a mermaid or even an extraterrestrial being. Some advised the woman to contact local authorities due to the resemblance of the skull to a human. However, most people believed it belonged to a decomposed marine mammal, possibly a seal. The shape of the head and the robustness of the ribs were cited as indicators supporting the theory. The truth is that to this day, no one knows what it was. What do you think? The mysterious Montauk monster was found on the beach off the coast of Ditch Plains in New York, July 2008. This monster clearly resembles nothing from our world, raising the alarming question of how much we don't know about the ocean. Some people claim the Montauk monster had been an experiment of mutation. Since there is a nearby laboratory across the beach, the Montauk monster mysteriously only made the news for a short time, and it was never mentioned again after that. On February 22, 2017, local residents thought the apocalypse had arrived. This is because a strange blob had washed up on a beach in the Philippines. The blob was about 6 meters long, and further examination revealed that it weighed 2,000 kilograms. A sea creature of such colossal size naturally made everyone think it was a whale, but it didn't quite fit that description. The creature had mysterious hair-like strands that closed around its body. According to researchers at National Geographic, these would be decomposing muscle fibers. What makes this even creepier is that this is not the first time a giant hairy blob has washed ashore. A year earlier, another 15 meter long animal was mistaken for a blob. And in 2003, a similar 13 ton blob was found in Chile. What kind of creatures do you think these are? The phenomenon of Peruvian jellyfish washing up in large numbers is a natural occurrence observed along the coast of Peru. These specific jellyfish, known as aguamala or stinging water in Spanish, belong to the species Pelagia noctiluca and are often found in the Pacific Ocean. During certain times of the year, ocean currents and environmental factors can lead to significant increases in the jellyfish population. When these conditions coincide, massive numbers of jellyfish are pushed toward the coast, resulting in mass strandings on the beaches of Peru. This phenomenon is often referred to as a jellyfish bloom or jellyfish invasion. The sting of the Peruvian jellyfish can also be quite painful. They have venomous tentacles lined with specialized cells called cynodites, which contain harpoon-like structures called nematocysts. When these tentacles come into contact with human skin, the nematocysts shoot venom, causing a burning sensation, redness, and swelling. In some cases, the sting can cause more severe symptoms, including nausea, dizziness, and breathing difficulties. The next creature found on the beach was called the hellfish. People gave it the specific name because of the dinosaur-like jaws, ferocious fangs, and hellish eyes. However, this is not the only hellfish ever found. When a monkfish washes up from the depths, it gets the same reactions. The deep sea fish known to inhabit the pitch black deep ocean is rarely seen, but sometimes the deep sea creatures end up on beaches in Orange County, California. The deep sea Pacific football fish is a rare species of monkfish that lives in one of the deepest known parts of the ocean, at a depth of more than 900 meters below the surface. They're known for their distinctive coloration and, of course, the dorsal fin in front of their mouth. The last place you'd expect to find one of these is on the beach, but a beach visitor noticed the eerie creature during a morning walk on California's Newport Beach. He immediately contacted the state park rangers, and even with all those people there, no one could figure out how this deep sea creature had washed ashore and almost completely been preserved. Pretty creepy, and makes you wonder what else is hiding in our oceans. We know that lobsters, including the Japanese giant crab, can reach considerable sizes. 
But in this video, we see some people who saw a giant crab on the beach and pulled it out of the water. This was reportedly filmed on the coast of the town of Muanabo in Puerto Rico. The lobster was reportedly found by a fisherman from a restaurant during their search for fresh seafood. According to some people, this could be the largest lobster ever found. It reportedly took a combined effort of several men to drag the animal out of the water as well. A family visit to Texas Beach turned into an unexpected historical exploration when they discovered a mysterious World War II object. Amanda Ward and her family were enjoying their time at a Port Aransas beach when they spotted something unusual on the shore. Initially, they thought it was a rock, but upon closer inspection, they realized there was layers of stretchy, flesh-colored material wrapped around it. The box-like object was covered in amber, shells, and algae, adding to its enigmatic appearance. Eventually, someone brought a knife, and they cut through the layers to discover it was a rubber bale made of latex-like material. Further investigation revealed that the rubber bale was actually from a sunken German warship, the SS Rio Grande. In 1944, this ship was carrying various cargoes, including tin, copper, cobalt, and rubber bales. When it was spotted by American warships off the coast of Brazil, to prevent the ship and its cargo from falling into enemy hands, the crew scuttled the ship. Have you ever found something on the beach? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.